So you happy? I think so. <laughs> and I did good? You did good. So... <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. <sighs> you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! Sadie! <laughs> You're alive! John, it's... Sadie Adler. <laughs> Well, how'd you know she was... We... I'm sorry, I you thought I... You look well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, well, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but tell me about you, darling. No arm to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking... Maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, uh, he ain't looking for that kind of work. I took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I going to do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's going to do something better than this. Like what? Writing silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Really, I am. I just thought if you wanted to earn some money... How many times do I got to bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. It's legal work that I can handle. There's a... There's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah? I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family, bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. <sighs> what is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business. You know, an accountant or something. Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. Well, the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course. Say your goodbye. Get your horse and let's go. You ready? Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Hey. It's nice of you to stop by and see the place. Finally. Abigail's back. With the boy? You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to, uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was... It was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. Or it, asking her, at least. Oh, my. I never took you for a romantic. No, me neither. But <laughs> it's something I've thought about. And I, I think, I know, I want it. OK. I guess I thought you were married already, long ago. No, not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, John. Being married? It made me real happy. We're cutting off the main track up here. My man's in need of post. So, we're coming up on where he's been seen. This moron accountant, Marshall Thurwell, been trying to live like an outdoorsman. Camping out here. He's lucky the Skinner brothers ain't found him. Well, they might have. 
Up here. Easy. Must be it. Get down. Let's take a look around. Something's been here. This... This looks... Looks like a bear. Something came through here. <sighs> now hurry. Here. Oh, he was from the south. Whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If he ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him or the bear? <laughs> Both of them. It's that way, I'd say. Great. Damn it! I lost the trail. Can you see which way he might have gone? Okay, I think I got him. Follow me. I'm better in town than in the back country. I guess. Pretty. Oh boy, that our fella? Maybe, but looks more like a local farmer to me. I don't know what's left of one. Is it gone? You, Marshal Thorwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No. I think he's gone. Come out! Come on. Don't shoot. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Look out! He's gone. Oh, fucking monster. Thurwell! Get out here! Before I come in there and kill you myself! I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here! Come here. <laughs> Thurwell, call yourself a man. Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. I can't believe we didn't kill that bastard. Gave him something to remember us by. At least. You're lagging, Joan. You all right, Joan? Yeah. Ah, just, <laughs> we always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. A family man and all. Seeing all this, uh, I don't know if I can do it again. I'm my own man, ain't I? 
I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But I'm my own woman. And I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if your ranch and your kid and your wife are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. Yeah, fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I spend my cash on fancy clothes and horses and shiny new guns. <laughs> Who's this up here? Is that... Are you Sadie Adler, ma'am? The bounty hunter? Get off the road! Look, I got great respect for you professionally, but if that's Marshall Thorwell there, uh, me and my partner would like to split the reward. You're doing what? Get off the road! We was thinking you might need protection. I look like I need protection? Uh, me and my partner, we're dead set on splitting that reward. And if not, well, we said we was going to have to take all of it. <laughs> you and your partner are just children. Don't get yourselves hurt now, son. I told you she wouldn't listen. Drop him! Idiot! <laughs> that bastard was green. If we didn't get him, someone else would have. This is a cold business, ain't it? Yep. It does require a certain level of detachment. You ever think if it's right? No. I just see orders on the wall. And I try and fill them. And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, everyone is out there doing it. I guess they are. Uh, you said earlier you knew something about Micah. You gonna tell me what you know? Are you sure you want to hear about him? Ain't all that back at your ranch enough? If I find him, I will handle it. Your bounties or transport work? That's your decision to bring me along or not. But, but Micah? That's something we, well, I, I gotta do. With or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. I know. Well, I'm hearing things. A lot of things. Still, mostly just whispers, but I think he might be pretty close. When you hear something real, you bring it to me. Okay, I'll bring it to you. But you think about oh, if this is what you really want. Everything you can get, and everything you could lose. I understand all of that. Of course I do. Okay, then. Here we are. Here, put them down. Go on, get home to your wife. I'll let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? <laughs> no, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you. 